Hey guys and gals, Necroline here, and welcome back to the Surge. Uh, the last episode I stopped just before the main, well not the, I shouldn't say the main boss, because they're all main bosses. But just before the third boss, if you guys remember we went back to area 2, and I will actually show you where the boss is at, it's actually kind of simple to get to. Well, I shouldn't say simple, but, you know. It's not hard either. Uh, anyways, back in the med station. Uh, I figured out why I wasn't healing. That's a thing I figured out. But we got two vital boosts going. We have our enhanced endurance. Uh, we got our vanium cell. We got our vital ejections three. These things come in handy because they are. Actually, it's actually like a very nice. Light. It just heals you a lot more than like everything else does. Let's see, anything else I can uh like upgrade? I can't upgrade you, unfortunately. I want to so badly up. Can't do you either. Not in this area at least. So I'm just looking to see what I can okay, anyways. Ah. I fucked you. Don't so forget your help out there. You saved my ass. Hey, news. So what's up? You heard anything? Well, there was a girl, Mallory. Kept me company for a time. Man, she was something. Whip smart. Didn't get a whole lot of what she said, but I listened to every word. Something about the board. Yeah. She said she got it figured out. And all of a sudden, she was gone. Well, that's Take interesting. Care, Take care. Anyways. Now we're gonna run past this fruit loop. Keep keep moving. The bo um After you get like towards the boss, it's actually very simple to where he's at. You come up this. This little exo lift. Come around and he'll be up stairs now where how you actually get in here is you have to go across this bridge right here it's right by the tram go across that bridge and you'll come up a whole like a really big ass like area full of guards basically that's all I can really that's how I can explain them. we have flamethrowers and grenade launchers that produce a poison gas now boss 3 is that bad boy right there. My face in the way. That bad boy right there. Yeah, it's the big thing right there. Oh, it's so much fun. Looks like, okay, so those are torch arms. Four of them. I'm supposed to fight those two arms right there. The four torch arms. And then we have to fight the core right there. That little blue thing right there in the middle. That's what we fight. Drop down. Pay attention to one of them. Ow! Ooh, wow, that does so much damage. Oh god, he got me a stun lock. Alright, so, scratch that first bit. That was just, uh, kind of gay. No, but it, it, that was terrible. He, <laughs> I got destroyed so fast. Oh well, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll do that again. And this time we'll do look it better. For your fellow workers, they look out for oh, you. Oh, really? Thanks. But yeah, we'll, we'll just do it better and see how it goes. Uh, we'll go. Oh, anyway. Back through. Man, that was that was a terrible first attempt. Trying to act all cool, you know. Hey, this is the boss. I'm gonna do this first try. Nope. You destroy. Oh well. Let's go. We got this. Boom. I right, got it. It says to either switch on enemies, like depending on like who attacks first, attacks like watch them. 
You didn't want to switch, that's the shitty part. Like, watch the laser. Sorry if it's a little loud too. Okay, this is the really shitty part because I hate them. Like, it doesn't want to switch is what it does. It doesn't want to switch half the time. So... There goes one arm. I gotta watch that laser. Ah, dang, dude. That thing is freaking hardcore. I'm already down two health things. Holy crap. Fletcher fight back there, okay. Oh, wow. Apparently these arms are, like, weak, but they're not, like, entirely. But it's just hectic is what it is. So it's a just straight-up dodging moment. Straight up dodging moment, watch ourselves. Just get in, get out, just make sure you don't get hit. And attack when you can, that's really helpful. So one's down. Ouch. No healing arms, I really gotta watch myself. La oh my god, that laser is so gay! The laser sucks because it just has a pinpoint accuracy. Like, really? It's just horrible pimp. I'm gonna try this thing, but I doubt it's gonna do any better. Happy to help. Like I said, that laser is. Oh my god, seriously, this bastard wants it. Come here. I guess. I don't understand, but okay. Let's see where I can heal. Do you require assistance, Warren? No, I don't require assistance. Shut up. I wish I really kinda of didn't get rid of some of my stuff. I got rid look of uh out for your fellow workers. They look out for you. Dude, how was he catching me? That's so gay. I'm not even understanding that. You're just catching me somehow. Hello. All right, fucking shut up, stupid machine. Look out for your fellow workers. They look out for you. Piss off, you asshole. Anyways, get up there. Just that laser just I'm gonna I'm gonna keep just saying the laser destroyed me because it did. That thing just wrecked me. Yeah, I went back to the hammer. This thing is just going to be a big old dicky bitch.
What are you locking on to, camera? Ah, this lockdown sucks dick. Seriously, it's terrible. The game just wants to lock on to anything and everything. All right. I am gonna switch weapons here just to give me a little range. It gives me a little range, and I'm able to kind of stay out of the line of fire a little bit. Like a little bit longer. Stay away from like the literal. Oh wow! I can't like tell if there's like an arm or something. Oh okay. That thing just freaking jutted at me. Oh okay. So this is the enemy now. This is be awesome. Yup, this thing's gonna suck ass. What are you pet? I'm gonna try to stay away. Much as pretty possible. Anyways, we got a new weapon. That's what it's called, the Spitfire Rod? What do we do? Claimed from the broken chassis of the rocket assembly platform Big Sister 1-3. The Spitfire Rod's welding torch has been damaged beyond repair. The Creo safety manual for the Big Sister platforms clearly states that they are hard-coded to immediately cease operation in the case of human presence in the work area, but contains no suggested actions for to do if a big sister fails to automatically pause construction. So it's a staff. That is badass. Okay, that's cool. So. I have no idea where to go next. Huh. No, it's not even a joke. I have no idea where to go next. Do I go down there? Maybe, actually. I think I might go down there. Yeah, I think I have to go down here. Ooh, I almost fell. Hmm, I'm gonna look up this real quick. Holy shit, no, don't walk off the edge, asshole.
Anyways. Yeah, there wow, I beat that 15 minutes. Damn, it didn't take me off a full episode. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, came through here. Went up there, okay. I know this is back to the healing place. I'm gonna go heal and save. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome, Warren. Apparently, there's a place that takes me to R and D after that. All right, just decided to level up again. I got, I didn't get anything besides the Spitfire from it. Right. Yeah, didn't get anything with Spitfire from it. Uh, the the bio. Uh, okay, they do about the same uh, at the end anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Look out for your fellow workers. Well, they look out for you. Fourth boss is named the Spla the Black Cerberus. I have to get the R and D somehow. That's my question. How do I? Go back up here. Oh, I hate looking up shit for this game because it's always just like you try to put in like specific names or locations and shit and it's like, oh hey, well here's every information that you've already seen on, you know, that one character or that one boss or yada yada yada. I wonder if I can go back like actually back up and check this place out. Like see if I can like see where I need to go and whatnot. Take it, uh, there's a path that's supposed to take me down to R and D. So my co my so my friend sent my coworker. I wonder. See, I'm sorry, I'm checking this shit out now. Ooh, oh, is this it? This has to be it. Eh, Breaking this door. Let's do, ooh, what's this? Ooh, some more tech scrap. I will take it. Break that door open. You ain't got shit on me, door. Now, what's next? We got, looks like, going up the exo lift. Service shaft to Creo 1. Mm. Break doors. light even though I probably don't need it oh, so gay I'm 
Sorry if that was like, extremely loud. I knew it was too good to be true. You know, something like that would happen. Hmm. No, it's not a straight shot to him. Oh my gosh, door failure? Oh, for security personnel, okay. Authorization press is started. Denied. Please. I'm not security at all. Unauthorized. No. Black server's boss. Dear God, more of you things? And you, of course. Oh, cool, you're one that just strikes out. Just battling me. I like battling those things. I don't like battling you things, so I don't care. Break through the door, we'll continue for Ah, oh, cool, it's a healing area. Oh, cool, we're at the exhibition floor. Was Rome built in a day? We all know the They say Rome was built in a day. I wouldn't be surprised how much slave labor Rome had. After all, it took almost two centuries to make it this The second skin smart exofilter. We're all impatient. With every passing day. Huh, interesting. Like nice counterweight three. Version three. I don't need it, but I'll take it. Why not? Error door terminal closed. Looks like we're on the executive forum. The reason I say that, that is because a lot of the doors are actually locked. Alright, yep, door locked. Here we go. We need to go downstairs. Alright. No one has attempted what we're trying to do. Well, I don't think we want to. It is a huge task. But together, we can do it. Whatever it takes. Biochemical resistance awareness. A a utopia? The MK99 rock engine. Uh, nanostructure global. Uh, you still usability. Turning script into high tech materials. Nanostructure schematic AI and the tool generation. I guess you can break these. It's kind of cool. And I'm sure assemble self assembly, replace traditional 3D printing, micro um, hybrid, recreating nature through technology. Doesn't seem like there's any enemies so far. So that's nice. That's uh, Creo history, don't care. That's uh, the IP75 inducer. That is a freaking pistol. Can we break this and take it. Oh, you actually can take them. Oh, they are gloves. But they only do like 12 damage. Holy shit. I want to read up on these things, actually. Uh, Creo's own Donna Hackett says it's the best. Designed for critical power loss. Now, you can use the induced to instantly transfer energy to a failing system or a unit. Uh, completely recharging it. This is essential in real space operations where even electrical fluctuations can lead to death or injury within seconds. If you can imagine it, Creo can design it. Well, you're a piece of shit, so that's why I say that. Where are you? Oh. His first personal computer. What are you, fucking 90 years old, man? Where are you going this place? Whatever it takes. We will build a new Eden. A utopia? Okay. That just happened. Welcome, Warren. Oh, okay. Let's say, uh, this is that area. Forgive I talk to you. Be careful out there. My little girl. She, she's gone. She's gone. I don't know what to do. Please. Please help me find her. Who are you? Okay. Calm down. Now, what's your name? Alec. My name is Alec. I, I, look, I, I just need to find her. She's all alone. What's wrong? Hey, you all right? What happened? I lost her. I, lo 
lost my little girl, my sweet baby. Uh, we, we were attacked in the corridor and... I don't know, so fast, I got turned around. And now... I, I don't know where she is. I'll, I'll try her. to find her, but I need you to calm down. Do you have any idea where she could be? I, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe my office? We didn't get far, she, she could have run back. Uh, this is the key code, please. Please, Maddie is all I have. I'm okay. sorry. Wait, where are you going? Log two. Warren? What are you doing down there? Contact me ASAP. Let me help. You seem to have a knack for ending up where you're not supposed to. How did you get into R&D? That's a restricted area. You need to leave before security shows up. How are you holding up? You all right? I don't know. I wasn't trained for this. Whatever happened has affected the whole network here. It's all linked. Every system is joined to another and another. I'm scared. Uh -huh. I'm just hoping someone in management can help us. Okay, I'm on my way. Get out of there as soon as you can. Yeah, uh, don't worry, I'll try. And, you know, not exactly. What's my next kind of not exactly trying for this either, my friend. Mechanized counterweight three. Oh, just boosts his slash damage and shit like that. Anyways, we got the black service is the boss here. Apparently it's an easy boss. Interesting. Seems like he has a weird trick, a uh, weird knack of summoning things that you don't want to see. Oh well. Yeah, Black Service, what you would do is you'll send in PAX robots to uh, attack you. Wow, this thing does not do damage or shit. 30 damage. Hell, this one does even more. 39, 36. Yeah, it does worse than what anything else has. Wait, nope. Be we'll get out of here. Out there. Or we'll, we'll try to, I should say. Another block. We're gonna be fighting the black service soon. So. Not in this episode, I doubt it. In this episode. Not a history thing, but. Uh, definitely not in this episode. Oh, okay. Why now, science? What happened? Yeah, that's what I mean by the security personnel have a... Uh... Okay, it does reduce damage, okay. It's not too bad. Just kinda free like any other, you know. Any other freaking heavy weaponry person? I'm gonna tell you, start bursting. Come in. Oh, it's a freaking bonk attack thing. And. Uh. There we go. Just beat him over the head with a staff. Open the door. I think I'm gonna use, uh. Where's it? Where's it? This. This big bad boy right here. I must say I'm surprised management was able to send someone over for the inspection, given the um circumstances. Well, circumstances. anyway, I'm Dr. Jean Barrett, project lead on Utopia, head of R&D. <laughs> Apologies, of course you know all that. So let's get straight down to business then. We'd hate to waste your time now, wouldn't we? 
Please, take a look around. You'll find uh, everything's in order. I'll just prepare everything for our little chat. Okay, there's the formula. Let's open this door. Oh, there's a guy with the fucking plants around me in the back over here. Okay. Awesome. Don't know what type of armor you're wearing, my friend, but I'm willing to take it. Why is everyone with flamethrowers around here? Jesus. I'm gonna freaking take your head on that. Elite hazard head here. Doubt I can get, you know. Ooh, ooh. We got poison, it looks like, around here. Okay, okay. Nope, we got poison because of that dick. These are what I mean by the guys, you know, I decide to shoot everything around. We got two of these guys, it looks like. Oh yeah, I'm coming for you, buddy. Guys, get some good like tech scrap. And a mess. Okay. We'll overcharge this. I don't know what it does, but we'll overcharge it. Power circuit bypassed. Yeah, I'm more constituting this bad boy. Uh, I might. Well, I'll take your left arm. Thanks. Ah, oh, you had the you had liquid uh, liquidator. I can't with good conscience continue. We need more time. But yeah. they say we always say that. Mainly because it's Interesting. true. Utopia really is a bad better place. solution I mean, in the It is, but it isn't. It doesn't have the side effects of resolve. Well, Ooh, yeah. not exactly true. It has one large cataclysmic side effect. Why is chat one for the chat thing? There's no stopping them though. Those people, those poor, poor people. We're meant to help them, right? Oh, he yeah, actually kicked me and killed me. That's not cool. Alright. We'll check out the uh so I got a couple new things. It's a sentinel class, just like the uh ah, crap, I forgot what it's called. Scarab armor. It does seven defense though. So I mean it's not great at all. Well, mine's already level 3, that's why it does 14 damage, 13 things. So it's 15 to start with. So I just do 312. Yeah, this stuff is not good at all. It's pretty bad. It's a like pretty crappy junk, pretty much. Uh, other than that, really? I think I want to check something. This is Dell 352. Oh, yeah, I have 54. You're actually not a bad weapon, too. I mean, whatever. Uh, we'll go in. We'll grab that stuff real quick. Take care. We'll, we'll look around a little bit more. Was Rome built in a day? Or actually, no, I'm going to end the episode here. I'll end the episode here. Next episode, we'll check around R&D some more and uh, try to find the Cerberus as per usual of, you know, areas and games. But, hey, we're having fun.
This game is actually a blast. I can't believe I beat the third boss in just, you know, well, two goes, not even, three. But still, I'm Necro Lion. This is the Surge. We're in R&D. I think we're actually, there's only five areas, I think? I don't remember. But still, we're going to have fun. I'll see you guys in the next episode. You guys have a blast.